I know you guys clicked on this video to see our Diamond Head hike, which you will see, but first we had to show off this beautiful beach called Diamond Head Beach Park, which lies right in front of Diamond Head. The views are absolutely stunning. It's one of our favorite beaches that we found here on Oahu. Um, but it's a very windy day, that's why we're kind of in the trees. But very good for surfing if you're into that. Yeah. I think actually there's a bunch of different surfers. There's like some guy with like a surfboard and like a wind sail on it, so we're learning something new every day. Yeah, it's a good beach if you're coming here during the summer and just want some cool views, not necessarily get in the water because of the waves. But we wanted to show it off anyway. It goes round and round. wasn't a great beach for. So we decided to leave, but let's get back a couple of days ago when we decided to hike Diamond Head. We are on our first adventure here in Honolulu. We're gonna hike Diamond Head. But we had a mishap this morning. We bought our bus cards last night for a month, but apparently, I don't know if the dates are wrong, I think the guy said when we tried to get on the bus this morning that she probably loaded it to start in July. July. So we're having to walk to Diamond Head, which is not that bad. It's a 40 minute walk. Yeah, so, and then we're gonna hope to ride the bus back with some cash. All right, mate, we may just walk back. I don't know how the walk <laughs> is. I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make her sweat. Oh man, yeah. We didn't check beforehand before we tried to get on the bus. I so. told her, I was like, hey, <laughs> if you're gonna go tomorrow, you gotta get the, the transit good. You gotta make sure like we can, we're to hike. And she's like, okay, I got it. And she, we're good to go. And then she's like, we have like we have problems yesterday finding like places to even get the holo card. And this morning this happens. I'm like, I told you to research it, Kristen. <laughs> I'm a do it do it yourself on the day it's due kind of person. And that's so. why we're walking. <laughs> so when she's sweating, I'm looking back. This is your fault. But yeah, it's gonna be a really cool hike. We're super excited to get up to the top to Diamond Head and see all the views. So it's gonna be a fun day. Let's get it. Sam and things don't go planned but you look at the bright side so the money that we're saving not using the bus and just walking it by foot I'll go, go get us some cheap breakfast I'll cook it actually Hello. so we made it to the start of Diamond Head but look at this view literally so crazy we had a really nice local point out us a couple of things for us to do here and yeah we have some great ideas so let's start this hike and she is already sweating yeah so we just reached the first lookout and the views are already stunning so we can't wait to get up to the top Slope. I now got to the dead. lookout in like 10 minutes. It's pretty quick. <laughs> Kristen's totally about to be a tourist. Ah, uh, you're blaming it on me? Yeah. This is just Dole Whip inside a pineapple. So what is that exactly you got? And Dole Whip is basically pineapple, like sherbet, I guess. So yeah, this is really good. Sam hasn't tried it yet. Try it. 
Better than Disney. I think so too. I think it's really perfect after the hike. It's really shaped well. It's like it's better than the Sonic slushies. So the Diamond Head hike was really, really great. I feel like it's one of those hikes you get the most reward at the end for the least amount of work, which it was a little bit difficult, but nothing like compared to the hikes we've done where in Colorado and Utah, amazing yeah. View. But yeah, I really, really liked it. There were some people like hiking in like jeans and like flip flops. I'm <laughs> like, probably not the best idea. I would, I would wear at least tennis shoes. You don't really need hiking boots, and I wouldn't wear jeans. Definitely wear shorts and bring a cap and sunscreen because it gets it's hot out. There. Hot and not much shade. Yeah, and entrance is five dollars a person for non-Hawaiian residents, so very affordable. And then you get that awesome stand at the end, and you get to pick your favorite refreshment. <laughs> So yeah, now it's time for a long walk back home. Hey guys, so I'm at the KCC Farmer's Market today. I wanted to add this to the Diamond Head video because it's actually in the park right next to Diamond Head. It's only open on Saturdays and it's gorgeous. Let's check it out. market has these designated parks that you can eat at because you have to wear your mask at all times while you're in the market so I'm here right now I got a couple things that I want to eat so let me show you so I got these Brazilian cheese breads and you can like pick what you want in them so I got a bacon and egg one and an egg tomato and pesto one so this is my breakfast the farmer's market's only open from 7 to 11, don't quote me. I'll put the real times here. It's only open for breakfast, but they do have like lunch items that you can get. There's so many things that you can choose from to eat and buy. So let's try these two out. Okay, those were super good. The egg was a little runny, so it got everywhere, but my favorite was the pesto one. So great. Let me show you what I got Sam, because he's been dying to get one of these. So I got him this poke bowl. It's spicy ahi and I'm about to leave. So it should still be good by the time we get home. And then we had to get some more macadamia nuts. We've been munching on these since we've gotten into Hawaii and we're obsessed. So I got three for 25, the coffee, Maui onion and Hawaiian honey. So I'm interested to get into those. I really enjoyed this farmer's market. Um, I think we're gonna come back next week because I was talking to Sam and you know, I was telling him what all they have and he was really impressed. Anyway, so yeah, I'm about to head home and I'll see you guys later. What did you get? Ahi, or spicy ahi poke bowl. No, you, what, did you get nuts? Nuts? Or coffee? Nuts. Nuts? Yeah. Why are you eating in the bed? Why are you eating in the bed? Because I'm fat and lazy. Give me my ginger beer. All of our Australian subscribers, if you want to send us any gifts, we like Bundaberg ginger beer. Thank you. Ah! Look at that. Bundaberg. Bruh. This is literally better than sushi. It's sushi, but in a, in a chipotle bowl. Oh my god. I mean, poke for the rest of my life. What are you doing? I'm not leaving anything to the pineapple garbage. Honestly, thinking about going and get like a cone cookie. I'm honestly thinking about going back and getting like coconut juice or something.
Chisel away. 